Supply chain sucks right now. People have been stealing off my job site. Look what happened there. Half of the road is caving in. So it's like a bunch of just craziness happening. So as you can see, I'm six foot tall window and I can't even get my entire wingspan around it. All the exterior walls here will get insulated, but if it's not, we're gonna create a nice valley. All the water is gonna run off to the side. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Nico's Property Show. I am back at my beautiful home. Check this out. I'm so happy with all the progress. I'm so happy with what's going on. You know, there has been times so far where I have been pretty sad, I'm not gonna lie. Windows, you know, supply chain sucks right now. People have been stealing off my job site. How crazy is that? It's unfortunate, but life goes on and that is okay because guess what? If you're gonna steal from me, it'll come back and bite you and that's fine. We're gonna get around with that and we're not worried about it too much. What right now I am worried about is this beautiful, amazing project right behind me. My beautiful home that I'm gonna be living in here shortly within let's say a couple months, maybe three months, I hope. Um, I am getting a few more things done, but I am also taking a trip here in the near future. So there's gonna be another little pause with everything going on. But regardless of that, I wanna take you in my garage and I'll walk over here just for a little bit um, before we head inside and just show you what we got going on. We got all kinds of gravel everywhere and it might seem like, holy crap, this is so much crazy stuff going on. It's been raining, okay? So as you can see, it is super duper muddy right here, like completely muddy. And then the water guys came in who installed my spigot. Look what happened there. Half of the road is caving in. So it's like a bunch of just craziness happening. Um, but what I am happy with is that the house is covered up. Everything looks beautiful. The doors are on. We're gonna get the garage slab poured, the front, uh, front porch, back porch all these different things are going to get done we got to get everything formed up and if we can get some dry weather we're really going to be in good shape because then i'll be able to start working on all this exterior and everything will keep on moving just as i planned and plans kind of suck right now so when the supply chain sucks plans suck i promise you that but uh, let me jump inside this garage go over what came in windows 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 are finally here i can't wait to get these installed y'all have been waiting i have been waiting most importantly and uh, even my truck she's been waiting for some windows to come in look at that beautiful baby right there but anyways let's jump in the garage real quick and we're gonna go over all this process all right y'all so i am inside of my garage and what you see behind me is my beautiful front window so i've got two of these huge windows and when i say huge this is literally one window i don't want it to fall but i want to show y'all of the size of it so i'm six foot tall so as you can see i'm six foot tall window and I can't even get my entire wingspan around it. And there's another one right behind it. I've got black on the outside, black on the inside, Anderson 100s. They are going to be absolutely beautiful and it's gonna look phenomenal when they're finally on the house. Then I've got all my other windows. I think I've got a total of 10 windows if I'm not mistaken. I've got everything right here, all these different boxes. Like when we get ready to set these windows, that's gonna be an amazing video because this house is gonna go from just being wrapped in Tyvek and like kinda, it kinda, I mean, it looks like a home, but when you get those black windows on it, when I start getting, like I already got the doors on it and then when I get my garage door, oh my gosh, this house is gonna just pop. And I've actually been thinking about painting my beams black, my door black to match my black garage door. Let me know what y'all think about that because I have been considering just like, cause I'm doing like a white hardy around the entire house and some beautiful stone underneath that's gonna mash and pull a little bit of grays and whites and everything like that. Let me know what y'all think about that because I am, I am like, toying with the idea of just making this like super white and black just like accents everywhere and make this thing really beautiful. But I do have another couple more windows here. Um, as you can see, I got like the super tiny one in here. I'll actually pull this plastic down a little bit so y'all can see. Um, it's a beautiful like black color. Like I love it. It's, it's not too shiny. It's not too like matte black either. Um, this is one of the bathroom windows, I think for the guest bathroom, if I'm not mistaken. And I'm just excited with what we're going to be able to do here. I've got it all cleaned up inside and I'll do a little tour with you because you guys have been sticking along for so long. I wanted to slow down the work process. I wanted to slow down everything going around. A lot of commotion and construction. It's like, when's this going to happen? When's that's going to happen? And then is the plan on time? Well, I wanted to just clean up, relax a little bit, get cash cabinets order, get windows, all these things in, and then start hiring people out because there are people that you call and they're like, yeah, we're six weeks out. Um, I've even called people to see like, hey, what are you looking at? And they're like six weeks out. And I'm like, how in the world am I supposed to plan six weeks ahead? It's, it's unreal. Um, and then we have people stealing off the job site. How crazy is that? So it's, it's blowing my mind, like what everything that goes into building. And if you've never been your own builder, you know, I had my brother build my last house and I've been around construction my entire life. I've been on job sites, but 
that doesn't mean that I've had to deal with the headaches of what goes on at a job site. You know, you show up to work, you help out, you leave, and that's it. But the builder, that's the person who's dealing with all the issues and the trouble and if someone's stealing and all these different material costs and the people not showing up to work to do the things, all the subcontractors. But anyways, we're gonna walk inside here real quick and then I'm gonna do like a little tour with everything while it's cleaned up and I'll actually get on the back porch with you as well and show you what's going on back there. So let me get in the house. So I wanted to walk through the front door here, kind of give myself the feel of what it feels like to walk in my own home. And if you've been watching the process all along, then you've known every single step of the way. I'm not even sure what episode episode we're on here, um, but as we're filming this video, I want to give everybody, you know, that's returning a reminder of like, this is what it looks like inside the house. This is what it's going to be. You know, right now I'm standing in my kitchen. I got my beautiful back porch that I can't wait to be spending time on. Um, I'm going to be in this amazing space right here. And then to all my new viewers, you're looking at a house that you've never watched before and there's tons of episodes before. So if you want to see the process of getting to this point in the house where we're all framed up, the electrical rough ins done, the plumbing rough ins done, the HVAC's rough ins done. Um, and now we're waiting on things like insulation of course because as you can see all the exterior walls here will get insulated and get everything done throughout there but first you got to pass a framing inspection but to pass that framing inspection I need my windows to be installed so that's something that I've been telling y'all. It's like when one thing bottlenecks, everything else is just like a, it's a snowball effect, honestly. So once these windows get installed, I'll get that framing inspection done, then I can get insulated, and then we're gonna get drywall or sheetrock as some people call it, then we'll get the lights trimmed in. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be beautiful once we start doing that. But again, as a reminder, this is that guest bedroom one over here. We're not even gonna go in because you can kind of tell what the space is. Then we've got that second uh, guest bathroom right here. And then I've got that extra guest bathroom in the back too, because this is a three bedroom, two bath, about 1599 square feet, a little bit less because we did have an issue with the house getting a little smaller over there because the blocks were laid on the wrong side of the pin. And then of course, kitchen over here to my right, living room to my left, gonna have a huge flat screen TV right here, a nice hanging fireplace. I'm giving away secrets that aren't even out yet, but it's okay because y'all are real ones. And then I've got my pantry right here, beautiful awesome space i mean just huge space right here and then i'll actually take you in this way which is my utility room and this is going to be where my washer and dryer are have like a nice cabinet space here be able to fold clothes and everything it's going to be beautiful nice cabinet space right here maybe like a little bench um, just to be able to like leave shoes and everything and then my sacred space my office i think i'm going to soundproof this sucker i'm going to have a tv right here a tv right here like screens all over the place um a desk somehow i got i got to get my interior designer to really figure this out for me but it's going to be beautiful and then i'm going to sneak through these walls right here and go into my master bedroom room and just kind of give you that feel of what it's going to be because it's been a long time since I did a full-on tour but we're going to have that big king bed right here coming out it's going to be beautiful and the bedroom speaks for itself you're going to have the closet with a ton of space I mean literally you can store so much stuff in there and then this bathroom going to be beautiful oh my gosh I chose cabinets that are called pool house blue okay with a crazy looking countertop. It's gonna be amazing. The tile shower with the glass right here is gonna be awesome. I'll be enjoying my beautiful standalone tub. I've got my outlets in here. If I remember on my phone in the, what do they call this? The, um, the water closet, that's what it's called. Um, but I really wanna take y'all to that back porch area and kind of show you what I'm gonna be experiencing as a homeowner in this beautiful home. So let me get over there. We're in the back porch. This is absolutely beautiful, y'all. I mean, once this is done, once this is poured, once there's concrete, there's gonna be actually a beam like y'all saw on the front gable. So there's gonna be a beam that separates this right here, right in the middle um, where I can still see out my kitchen window, but there's gonna be a beautiful beam right here. All this is gonna be a nice concrete slab. I'm gonna have a deck going out and guess what? I know it's raining right now. I know it's a little gloomy, but the sun sets right over there. So if you can kind of see those trees over there where my hand's kind of pointing, oh my gosh, it is going to be beautiful. I'm gonna probably get a jacuzzi, I'm not even joking. Um, and then I do want to actually build like a gazebo type vibe over on the side of my house so I can have like an outdoor little fire pit, maybe a little like a grill of some sort. I'm not sure, I need to figure that out. Um, but I am excited about this backyard space because it is so big, um, it is, it's, it's awesome. 
and I just love this area. I'm right by the lake. I'm a minute away from it, and that's going to work out pretty darn good for me because I do actually have a boat at the lake. So anyways, let me head back in the house. Um, I'm going to meet you guys out front, and we're going to actually get close to finishing this video out. I want to talk about a few more issues, but we've gotten past them. We've gotten over some challenges, and we're going to keep on progressing. So thank you so much. All right, y'all. So I jumped outside real quick. I wanted to give you all an explanation of what was going on here. I kind of walked by it earlier, didn't give you exactly what was happening. So we got this mountain of gravel, and I've used, I think at this point, about four or five full truckloads, maybe six to be honest. I need to go back and count all that up. But I mean, these things come in, and obviously I don't have tons of space. And you don't want gravel just anywhere, because then you got to get that gravel up, especially if it's in your grassy areas, because grass can't grow on gravel. So I'm going to be using all this gravel right here to form this driveway area because you don't want water kind of running off the road into your driveway and then going underneath your garage door so we're going to create a nice valley that goes off hopefully the the way that this this elevation kind of drops it'll get all the water going straight off the side but if it's not we're going to create a nice valley all the water is going to run off to the side and i want to make sure that all my dirt is graded to where it comes off the front of my house and goes around to the back we don't want water sitting you don't want water sitting by your foundation and then kind of seeping into that crawl space because yes we do have damp proofing around the blocks and everything like that but water is water if it's going to find a way through a crack it's going to find a way through i promise you that um, but yeah there's just a lot of work that needs to get done still like i said we're about three months out and i can't wait to really get this thing done and finally live here because this is a dream come true this is something that's like i never knew that i'd be building a house at the age how old am i i think i'm, I'm 28 born in 1993 but i didn't know that uh sometimes i forget i'm getting a little bit older so sometimes you forget how old you are or how young you are that's the real uh answer right there but you didn't realize like i didn't realize i'd be building a house this year it just happened um you know i asked someone to do it and then they're like dude why don't you just do it I mean, and you're gonna be filming everything anyway so it's like all right let's do it so luckily i'm able i'm blessed enough to be able to call my brothers and my dad for help and everything like that but now i'm going to be playing king of the hill right here get a bunch of gravel in my shoes and um I'm just happy. The progress is happening. Nico's Property Show is growing exponentially. I appreciate every single one of y'all. Y'all are amazing. I can't wait to keep growing this channel and keep doing awesome things. I've actually been looking at property. Nico's Property Show, get it. Um, I've been looking at some, some, I'm gonna just say property right here. I don't wanna spoil it or anything like that. If you follow me on Instagram and such, then you might know what I've been looking at. But right now, I don't wanna give too much away. Um, we're just gonna have some fun out here and yeah, we're gonna keep progressing. Alrighty, y'all. So I don't want to waste much of your time here. Hope y'all enjoyed this kind of recap and the situations that have been happening here and everything that's going on with the windows and the stealing and everything like that. But regardless, if you did enjoy this video, make sure you like and subscribe and make sure you follow me on all social platforms, especially TikTok, because it's so easy to edit, post, film, and all that good stuff right away. Make sure you check out nicospropertyshow.com. Grab you some merch, support the movement, and make sure you use code Nico for 10% off your entire order. Without further ado, smile more, worry less, and stay blessed. See you in the next video. Peace.